What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing that I am really excited about. This is the Samsung Captivate, AT&T's first high-end Android smartphone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So you'll be able to pick up your Samsung Captivate on July 18th for $199 on a two-year contract from AT&T. This is the carrier's variant of the Galaxy S. You may have sort of heard that name uh, thrown about over the past few weeks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. And of course, we'll use the big, I hope I don't cut my finger off knife. And as usual with the unboxings, I'll sort of go through the specs as we get to it. Because there's a lot to talk about and a lot to like about the Samsung Captivate. So go ahead and cut the FedEx pack. And dig in. And this is for retail packaging. Here is the Samsung Captivate, a Galaxy S phone, like we just talked about. It's got a picture of the device on the front. We've got a what's included in the box, which we will certainly go through. It's got the phone, the battery, wall charger, all that good stuff. A few more specs here. And this is sort of where things get very interesting. The Captivate is packed to the gills with all kinds of smartphone and super phone goodness. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that really stand out over the rest. And the first is that super AMOLED screen that you're going to be looking at when you're using your phone. Uh, you may have heard that term thrown around quite a bit. Uh, what super AMOLED means is that the technology that's used for the touch screen generally sits on top of the phone itself. Here at the super AMOLED, that's actually integrated into the screen. Uh, so what that's going to mean for you is 20% brighter screen, 80% less sunlight reflection, and 20% reduced power consumption, which is awesome. Uh, so we're looking at a 4-inch screen with a resolution of 480 by 800, uh, which you can see right there. Phone doesn't weigh very much, clocking in about 4.5 ounces. 16 gig storage card is going to be included. Uh, talk time, we're going to get about 5 hours and 50 minutes. Standby time, about 300 hours. Uh, sort of rounding out the rest of the specs here, we'll go through this. Uh, the Android 2.1 platform is sort of uh, Samsung's own touch whiz on top of it. Uh, the Super AMOLED screen, of course, and a 1 GHz processor. This is not sort of your standard 1 GHz processor uh, that we've seen in uh, Snapdragon devices. This is actually Samsung's Core 88 Hummingbird processor, which is very, very similar, uh, if not identical, to the A4 processor uh, that we've seen in the uh, iPhone 4 and the iPad. So very similar, uh, very similar architecture. You're going to get really nice speed from this uh, 1 GHz chip. Uh, so sort of keep moving down here, you've got the swipe text input, sort of a new way to type. Of course, you're going to have an on-screen keyboard uh, as well. Uh, we're going to get Wi-Fi, assisted GPS, 5 megapixel camera. This can record 720p video, a uh, full DLNA support. You can sort of control other devices with this, control your media. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and the rest of the stuff you'd expect. Uh, but enough about me talking about the device, let's actually take a look at it. We'll go ahead and open it up, we'll cut the plastic here. And once again, you'll be able to pick this up on July 18th for 199 bucks. Go ahead and slide the box up. Push that off to the side. Actually, it's a very uh, hard cardboard. The box looks the same as the older AT&T boxes, uh, but actually it's sort of a, a newer take on it. It's going to protect the phone a bit better. It's sort of that harder cardboard. All right, so welcome to AT&T. Thank you for purchasing your Samsung Captivate. Everything is sort of put in very nicely into this envelope. A quick start guide. And that is about it. Texting and driving, it can wait. Uh, and most definitely it can. So we'll go ahead and pull out the phone and push this off to the side. And it's really nice to see AT&T getting serious about Android. Uh, this phone is really packed to, uh, packed to the brim with all kinds of features that I'm really looking forward to taking a look at. So we'll pull that up. Nothing inside, I don't think. Nope, just filler. The rest of this stuff is going to be inside of this sleeve, which is going to get you... A manual, which is nice, you don't really see many manuals anymore. And it looks like the official name for the Samsung Captivate is going to be the SGH i87. This is actually not a manual, it's your health, safety, and warranty guide. So there's that. We're going to get a pair of actually pretty nice looking uh, headphones with microphone. They look very similar to uh, Apple headphones with the inline mic, and we've got sort of the adjustable uh, ear size. Uh, very nice for Samsung to include that. We've got your wall charger with, of course, the USB. Battery, which looks to be pretty beefy, uh, is of size 1500 milliamp hours. 
And of course, we have the cord to connect to your computer or the wall, which is going to use micro USB. Samsung has adopted or abandoned their proprietary standard. Uh, what was their proprietary standard and is no longer a standard, of course. So here's the phone itself and all of its super AMOLED 4-inch touchscreen glory. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll go ahead and peel back the texting and driving. And definitely that's a good message. Do not text and drive. Go ahead and whoop that off here. And we've got sort of a very nice, thin-looking slate device. So on the left-hand side, volume rocker up and down, nothing else. On the right, it's like you're going to have your lock and power button, and nothing else. On the top, there's the micro USB charging port, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, you've got a microphone. The back is just going to feature a uh, speaker grill, and your 5 megapixel camera it does not have an LED flash. Sort of has this pattern design in the back. It's just plastic. It's nothing uh, metal. And it's letting you know this is indeed a Galaxy S phone. Uh, you're going to probably hear that Galaxy S name uh, thrown about over the next few months. So we've got sort of an interesting array of Android buttons here. This is using TouchWiz, so it's their own, uh, Samsung's own sort of take on Android. Uh, the buttons that we have right here, let's go ahead and take a look. And I'll go ahead and power this on too in just a minute. We're looking at what appears to be a menu button, a home button, a back button, a search button. So those are the same buttons that we see, they just look a little bit different. And they are not actually physical buttons, they are capacitor buttons integrated into the device itself. I think we also have a proximity sensor as well on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in the battery and see if we can power this on and take a quick look at what this looks like. And of course, stay tuned to Techno Buffalo on the YouTube channel. We'll be doing a ton of coverage coming up on the Samsung Captivate. So the back of the phone kind of comes off in an interesting way. You actually push down that plastic piece in, and then you can pull off the whole back. And there we're going to get access to the micro SD card and of course the SIM card slot. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in a battery, take a quick look at what this looks like. And again, I'll be doing a full walkthrough of TouchWiz and the rest of the features of the Samsung Captivate. Push that back in. Slide that back. All right, and let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what it looks like. All right, so we've now got the phone powered up and ready to go. So you can see a sort of a quick look at what the new TouchWiz interface is going to look like, especially on an Android device. And on first blush, I gotta tell you, the Super AMOLED screen looks gorgeous. Uh, colors are bright, vibrant. I've got a light on it right now, I'm really not seeing any reflection, uh, which is very impressive and good uh, first impressions. Let's take a look at how this thing's going to stack up size-wise uh, to some of its competition. So here we've got its AT&T StableMate, the iPhone 4. See from a size standpoint, they look very close, a 3.7 inch screen here and certainly a 4 inch screen on the Captivate. Sort of stack them on top of each other, you can see that they are both uh, very thin devices. If we go ahead and bring in some other uh, Android, let's say distant cousins, uh, here is the Captivate next to the Nexus One. You can see sort of the screen size there. Stack of these on top of each other as well. And if we bring in some of the big guys and the larger uh, screen size phones, here we've got the Evo 4G stacked next to each other. You can see that there is definitely a difference. And I do like the way the Captivate looks. You almost can't see where the screen stops and the buttons end. It sort of looks to be, when the screen is turned off at least, uh, very fluid, uh, which I definitely like. Look at here, you can sort of see where the lines are. And the same thing here with the uh, Nexus One, and the same with the iPhone uh, in addition. And if we bring in sort of the last size comparison we've got, here is the Droid X. You can see that there's definitely a difference here, and certainly if we stack them, uh, the Droid X is much, much larger, especially in the hump area, than the Captivate. So push those off to the side. Just again, another quick look at what the TouchWiz interface is going to look like and what the operating system uh, it's found on the Captivate is going to look like. Again, it's Android 2.1 with the skin on top of it. And be sure to stay tuned to Techno Buffalo. We're going to be doing a ton of coverage uh, on the Captivate. We'll show you how the camera works, how the operating system functions, and how the whole package comes together. So be sure to check that out. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I am John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.